next. It's a middleweight matchup between the former seven-time King of Pancrase, Nate Marquardt, and Patrick, the Predator Cote. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Patrick Cote, Nate Marquardt. Let's go, come on. And here we go. Joe, when you speak of Patrick Cote, the French Canadian who fought for the title against Anderson Silva, ended up blowing out his knee in that fight. We know he's got knockout power in both hands, but in what area would you like to see him improve? Well, what I was most impressed about him in that fight with Anderson Silva challenging for the title it was his composure. He didn't do anything stupid. He didn't rush in brashly. He got hit with some good shots, but never panicked. And he always hung that right hand ready to throw. And he connected a couple of times with Anderson Silva, and I think Anderson respected the power in his hands. If anything, Patrick needs to work on his ground game. One of the, the quickest losses of his career was to the very talented Travis Luter, where he was submitted very easily in the finals of the ultimate fight of the comeback. I think if there is a hole in Patrick's game, it is his jiu-jitsu. Over the top. A good right hand counter. Nice job, double leg. Back to his feet. And oh, he's he hurt. Ah, uh, Joe, there's a cut. Oh, oh, buckled him. This fight's just about over, Joe. Oh, he recovers. Oh, he lets him up. Right hand. Two minutes remaining. And a slam. He's looking for a Kimura. Oh, man. Really? Oh, he gets out. Half guard. Just over a minute remains. He decides to let him up. Eats a jab. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Nice combos. Both guys staying in tight. Oh, wow. Looping hook there. Final 30 seconds. Non-title fight. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. He gets a takedown into his guard. Round one is in the books. Joe, that round was extremely one-sided. Yeah, that was a real Listen, blowout. Son, we're losing this fight to points. Look me in the eye and take a deep breath. You keep with me on this. Because you don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking perfect. And look, you don't know that. Great, give me the deep breath, man. You're looking good. It's a nice round. Okay, you need, to, you need to knock him out. You ain't going to win the decision. Okay? Go throw. out there and keep kicking him. Break him down. He breaks down easy. Believe in that. Okay, let's go. Throw these hands now. Let's take a look at some of that action here. Good patience out there. You gotta keep crowding him like that. The beautiful Ariani. Set for round two. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Huge uppercut, Joe. Trying to find the range. Man, he's working the body. Oh, oh, beautiful left hook. He's rocked. Oh, but he recovers. Oh, nice big uppercut. Boxing. Beautiful left hook. Good body shot. Trying to punish the midsection. Trying to get the takedown. He pulls the legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. Back to his feet. Fast. Oh, big elbow. It Pitcher. is all over. Perfect technique. That was vicious. Nate Marquardt with the victory.
And here's the end of the fight, Mike. Clean elbow to the jaw. And here we see it again. Just an incredible amount of torque he puts into that. Boom! Right on the button, Joe. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop for this contest at 1 minute, 19 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate the Great Marquardt. Nate Marquardt, the winner.